Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a radical equation with complex numbers. Radical equations are fun, radical equations with complex numbers are funner. So let's see how we can solve this problem. We're going to talk about some other things as well in this video because something is going to come up. Okay, so we have z plus i equals the square root of z times i. We've done a similar problem, by the way, you can go ahead and check that out here as well. But let's go ahead and start by squaring both sides because we want to get rid of the radical, right? Don't we? Now, when you square both sides, you got to be careful. This is a sum, so you're going to get z squared plus i squared plus 2iz. And on the right hand side, you're going to get z i squared. Remember, one thing that you should never ever forget, i squared is equal to negative 1. So this gives you z squared minus 2iz, I mean plus, minus 1 equals negative z. Okay, let's put everything on the same side, z squared plus z plus 2iz minus 1 equals 0. That's our quadratic. Let's go ahead and factor out z, and we get 1 plus 2i as the coefficient of z. So this is a quadratic equation with complex coefficients. So the solutions will probably be complex. Can we find a complex? Can we find a quadratic equation with complex coefficients, but with real solutions? Something to think about. Well, let me not tell you the answer. So I want you to think about it. Anyway, so to solve this problem, we're going to use the quadratic formula because why not? So from here, z equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared. So I'm going to square this and subtract 4ac, but uh, c is negative, so it's going to be plus 4, a is 1, all of that is divided by 2. Awesome. Let's go ahead and square this guy over here and simplify this expression. Plus minus under the radical, we're going to get 1 plus 4i minus 4, because 2i squared is 4i squared, which is negative 4, plus 4, uh-oh, they cancel out, and we end up with something like this. So z from here becomes negative 1 minus 2i plus minus the square root of 1 plus 4i divided by 2. Uh-oh, we just talked about this. What is that? The square root of a complex number. You remember? If you don't remember that, or if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out right here. Because I made a video about the square root of a complex number in general. All right, great. So by using that formula, I can immediately find the square root of this number or the square roots of this number. But one of them, if you can find one of them, the other one is just going to be the opposite. So it's easy. So here's what I need to do first. Take these numbers and square them and add them up and square root the answer. So in other words, like square root of a squared plus b squared. That's going to be square root of 17. That's a number that I'm going to use along with a, which is 1. Add them up, divide by 2, and then subtract them and divide by 2. And then put the radicals, put the radicals and then put a plus sign because b is positive, and then put an i here and you're all set. You see, if you understand how the formula works, the dynamics, then it's gonna be easier to remember or memorize, whatever. So now we get z from here, how? z is gonna be negative one minus two i plus minus this square root of thing here, right? It's gonna be like the square root of square root of something, right? We'll talk about denesting in a little bit too, but let's go ahead and First do the replacements, and this is going to be a very, very radical answer, right? Okay, something like this. By the way, the 2 at the bottom comes from the quadratic formula. These 2's come from the formula for the square roots of a complex number. Make sense? Okay, make sure to distinguish because this can be very confusing. Now, if I wanted to write the solution separately, that will be a little bit more work, but let me just show you one of them, and you can definitely write the other one. Uh, accordingly. So one of the solutions is going to look like this. You're going to have negative 1 plus the square root of the square root of 17 plus 1 divided by 2 and then plus and actually that's going to be divided by 2. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to add it to the other part which is the imaginary part. It's going to be under the radical this time the differences and of course we're going to have to subtract 2 from it and divide by 2 and all of that is multiplied by i. You can call this z sub 1 and z sub 2 is going to be very similar. Let me tell you where the sign changes or let me not tell you so that you can figure it out, right? You like it? <laughs> okay, it's quite complicated. Now here's the million dollar question. Can this 
or this because if one of them can be done the other of course can be done as well so the question is then can we denest this expression or to forget about the two can we just denest this part because if this can be denested the bottom number is just root 2 we can take care of it very easily all you have to do is multiply by root 2 and it's going to distribute and you're going to be good makes sense so can this be denested what do you think okay ready the answer is let's find out okay let me not tell you right away suppose it can be right suppose it can be denested and if it were or if when you denest it it's going to look like this right a root 17 plus b a and b have to be what rational numbers they don't have to be integers but most of the time they are but let's just call them rationals because we could have rational numbers and if that's the case it's conjugate is going to be the conjugate of the result of course right and the reason why i wrote the uh, square root of 17 before the uh, the number the rational is because the square root of 17 comes before that makes sense if i had something like uh, three actually that kind of depends i would say okay let's let's make it more clear so suppose i have something like five minus root 17 and i'm trying to denest this i would consider something like a minus b root 17 makes sense because that's going to be the second number anyways you kind of get this through practice but let me show you how we can verify this so you can go ahead and multiply these two things by the way this idea came up uh, in a recent video if you look at the comments of that video by Nadia Fan and some other viewers beautiful beautiful solutions and amazing comments yes uh, my solution you may like better but uh, I really like your solutions too anyways so now if you multiply these two together you're gonna get under the radical 17 minus 1 yay that's a perfect square isn't that right don't be too happy because now we're gonna have to deal with a Diophantine equation which I could I guess you could call a Pell's equation but it's kind of like a special case because the right hand side isn't equal to 1 but guess what use the idea of the right hand side being equal to 1 uh, you could even invert this and write this as b squared minus 17 a squared equals negative 4 and then you can kind of consider hey how do I solve this or how do I solve this because the solutions are pretty much connected to these things but anyways that's a really long and complicated topic but look up Pell's equations you're gonna love them they're amazing and I made some videos on those too but anyways let's go ahead and focus on this real quick I'll give you the shortcut and we're looking for rational solutions but guess what there are no rationals that satisfy this equation unfortunately so this radical cannot be denested therefore this would be the final 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 answer I mean at least, at least this is one of them right you get the other one now let me go ahead and show you what Wolfram Alpha offers as a solution which might look a little different because Wolfram Alpha uses the inverse tangent of 4 obviously and that kind of makes sense but then you kind of need to cut it in half because if tangent theta is 4 then you have to think about tangent theta over 2 because you're taking square roots right and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye